Hi, I'm Leanne Rimal, Principal Admin Evangelist here at Salesforce. Lots of our users like to have really data-rich pages, and there's a few key things you can do in Lightning to make those pages have more information for your users and help your users adopt Lightning. One of those features is Enhanced Related Lists, and that is brand new in Summer 19. So let's take a look at how you can make your Lightning pages more data-rich for your users. Let's start by taking a look at our classic page for our accounts. We've got our hover quick links at the top for all of our related lists. Our page layout is reflected with side-by-side -side fields and data, so it's condensed. And as we scroll down, we can see multiple columns displayed for each of those related lists. Let's switch to Lightning Experience and look at the same record page. We're viewing that same account, Mary's Gourmet Foods, in Lightning. We've defaulted to our related list here. We can see they're displayed differently. They're in the more of a tile form um, versus being the side-by-side -side columns. And let's jump right into the Lightning App Builder and customize this page and give our users more data right when they click into the page. So here in the Lightning App Builder, we can see in the middle our canvas, which is our preview for everything that's going to be changed or modified about this page. I can click over to the tabs. I've got my Details tab. And the Details area is driven by your page layout. And on the left, I've got all of my components. So let's drag over our Related List Single to the bottom of our Details area. Related list single is how you can break up any of the related lists you have tied through the page layout. So I'm using this account and I've got the options of any of the related list items. So I'm gonna select opportunities and I can select what type of related list I'd like it to be. Do I want it to be default, which is that view we just saw or a basic list or the enhanced list. So enhanced list is brand new in summer 19 and we'll take a look at more of the features that it gives us access to. But right off the bat, it allows us to display how many, choose how many records we want to display. It gives us access to wrap text and whether or not we want to have the list view action bar available. Awesome. So we've added that. Now let's go ahead and scroll back up. So as we're looking at our page on the left, again, we've got all of our standard components. So let's drink, bring over our related list quick links. This is that same hover list experience your users are used to. So we've got our related list quick links at the top. And we can choose whether or not we want to hide or show the header. Um, if we want to maximize our real estate here, we can hide our header. So again, this gives our your users a really quick way to navigate between any of the related list items or to see them um, in that hover. If you want to add even more data here, you can also customize your compact layout because that is what drives the highlights panel at the top. Let's go ahead and activate this user, this page. We're going to make this our org default. For right now, we'll just keep it as desktop. And actually, I've saved this, but there's one last thing I wanted to do, which was to give our users that details view right when they log in. So let's go ahead and click on the details tab, and we can say that we want this to be the first tab, the default tab that our users land on. So again, they've got all that data on the page, that experience that they're used to. Let's go ahead and save this page again, and let's jump back and take a look. So when we're back in our page, I'm gonna do one last thing, and this is something that your users can do, which is switch it to the compact layout. Turning on compact layout puts the fields and the data side by side, similar to classic. It adds about 30% more data to the screen, so less scrolling for your users. So if you have users that like to take in a lot of data right when they visit their screen, this is a great way to maximize their page. Now we also have our opportunities right here at the bottom. And your users can do things they could never do in Classic, like select wrap text, resize the columns, and really work with that list view the way that they're used to working with list views. Awesome. I love wrap text. It really helps us view more data, especially if you have some text fields represented here. It's a great way to have like notes or next steps displayed. I can refresh right from here. And also, if I go into view all, I can filter on this. So in the view all for related lists, if you have enhanced lists turned on as the related list um, setting, you can go ahead and do some quick filtering here from this related list view and look at, say, all of the closed records for an opportunity. Awesome. So hopefully those few quick tips help you as admins to add more data to your pages, take advantage of some of those cool Summer 19 features, and help your users customize their own view. I talk about how to get hands-on with summer features and all of our release features in this podcast with Jillian Bruce, and we talk about how to get your pre-release environments, how to stay up on newest features, how to go through the release notes, so check that out, give it a listen. And if you like this video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us at admin.salesforce.com, where we're always posting more content and videos to help you customize your environments.
That's all for today and I'll see you next time.